brothers and sisters. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 68, page 623. Christ presented his future, illustrating it by the things of nature that the disciples might understand. The true result of his mission was to be reached by his death. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he said, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. When the grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it springs up and bears fruit. So the death of Christ would result in fruit for the kingdom of God. In accordance with the law of the vegetable kingdom, life was to be the result of his death. Are you willing to sacrifice your life to save the life of others? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I know that through the death and sacrifice of Christ, eternal life was given to all mankind. Christ gave his life to save the life of every sinner. And for this gift, I thank you so much. But I also know that today you are calling me to sacrifice just like Christ for the sake of others. Help me today to follow Christ and to fulfill the mission that you have given to me. May I be willing to sacrifice my life so that others can be saved. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. May you have an excellent day ahead of you. Goodbye.